Hello, I'm Danny, welcome to Beachy Bikes. Today I'm riding the BMW R90 Scrambler. spot to do this review of the R90 Scrambler and it's shut because they're chopping trees down and stuff so I'm in the uh, the entrance to the car park so I do apologize for the road noise and whatnot but I'm just gonna have to deal with that today um, so yes the R90 Scrambler I've been out on it for an hour and a half now and I'm really enjoying it now if you've watched my previous videos and especially the video on the BMW GSA you'll know how much I hated that engine and I have to say I absolutely love this. This uh, Scrambler is awesome. The Boxer engine, which is air-cooled, just works so well. It's just enough power and enough torque to really make you feel uh, just, it's just such an awesome riding experience. Um, it's very lumpy. That Boxer engine is, is not exactly smooth, um, but it is an awesome, awesome experience. I've had a ball caning it around the lanes, and I mean, if you're a commuter, then this is probably gonna be an ideal bike, really, because it's very nippy, it's agile, but it's got a lot of grunt as well. Um, this was meant to have the off-road tires on it, as it's a scrambler. However, my local BMW, which is Chandler's, um, they've put road tires on it, which I'm kind of disappointed with, really, because I really wanted to ride it with the, the knobbly tires on because that's kind of the whole point of a scrambler and especially as the setting that I'm in it would have fitted in really well with lots of photographs and whatnot so yeah so I'm a little bit disappointed with that the seating position for me is quite nice I mean I'm a little bit cramped on it I'm six foot four as you all probably know by now um, but it's not too bad and I don't look too big on it either um, running Brembo brakes which work really well hydraulic clutch which is a must um, I'm really not liking that on my S1000XR at the moment um, the mirrors, not entirely sure I like the styling, but they're probably one of the best mirrors I've ever used. The dash, well, the dash, very simple. You have an analog speedo, and that's pretty much it. I've not found the fuel gauge yet, so I'm waiting for uh, the fuel light to come on and tell me it's gonna run out. Uh, this has got Acropovic exhaust, now I'm pretty sure this is an added extra. Um, likewise with the spoked wheels, and, and I really like these spoked wheels actually, they, uh, yeah, they just, this whole bike is just so good to look at, it's such a work of art, and I'm, you know, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do, but it's been such a good laugh to ride through the lanes, that front headlight, that, you know, it's got that very hipster, retro, modern feeling, um, so yeah, as you can probably tell, I, I, I really like this bike. One of the things I don't like about it, and I've had it a few times, is that when I make an accelerating hard and I crank up through the gears, the, the steering will kind of do like a bit of a tank slapper. And I've noticed it's got a steering dampener, but I'm not, not entirely convinced it's enough. Um, so I'll try and demonstrate that on the way back um, to Chandler's with my head cam on, just to show you what I mean. Um, maybe me, maybe just because I'm hanging on for dear life with this. Um, and I don't know, but that's something that, that, that I'm not sure I like. Um, other than that, I really like it. Flipping awesome bike. Um, the styling, again, awesome. The exhaust, awesome. It sounds phenomenal. Uh, the seat not that comfy um, but then if I was to buy this bike which I have no plans to buy another bike for at least six months anyway if I was to buy this bike it would be a Sunday afternoon pub hopper in the summer you know or, or even or even even that commuter bike you know just trundling through traffic and you know is 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 awesome I, really honestly out of all the bikes i've looked at and reviewed over the last few months in the year i would say that this is one of the the the, the bikes that surprised me the most and you know i'm only out on it today purely because my xr is being serviced for its first service 
So, yeah, so, flipping hell, what a bike. If you ever get the chance to take one of these out, you need to do it. I have been blown away by how it rides, how it handles, the sound, the appearance, the styling. I absolutely love it. So if you do get the chance to take one out, then you really need to do it. Right, I'm now going to jump back on the bike. I'm going to take you back to Chandler's. So join me on my head cam. Turning out to be quite a nice day. I got up at six o'clock this morning and the... Uh, yeah, it was really foggy and misty and I could hardly see. But you throw it into the bends, it's lovely. Especially with these uh, tyres on. I think they're Pilot Road 4s, I think. We'll have some fun through here now. Gear selector's really smooth but when you drop it into a gear working your way out the box oh, pheasant you know I'm cruising along at should we say the speed limit and no bother at all of uh, whatever and there's so many gears as well so you're cruising along you think oh, this is quite nice it's chugging along and you've still got another three more gears to go fucking awesome engine is torquey it's responsive it's got I mean the best way to describe it I would say is that it's punchy it's got lots of aggression and uh, it's freaking awesome. And it's complete opposite of what I thought of the uh, BMW GS. Work that, work that one out. I thought that was underpowered and lacked everything. And yet, it's the same engine, I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure. This is 1170cc, so yeah, I think it's the same engine. Um, but this seems to, I mean, this is going to get 111 horsepower, whereas the GS is 125. Um, and I, I personally think that the GS is underpowered. Um, but this, I wouldn't want any more, put it that way. The exhaust pops and crackles like it should. I've also found that traffic moves over a lot more for me on this. Um, on my XR, they tend to not, I don't know whether they don't see me or what, or they're just being difficult. But all the cars today in the, in the traffic on the way in, no bother at all. change is really smooth like the actual mechanics of it is lovely but it's that kick when you uh, go up through the gears it shocks you and then you wobble the handlebars which it's quite unnerving actually and maybe it's just something I need to get used to I have been spoiled with a quick shifter don't get me wrong Roads are terrible, aren't they? There's a saying in England, we used to drive on the left of the road and now we drive on what's left of the road. And to be honest, too true. Chucking along with a speed limit and everyone's just moving over it. I feel like Moses on the old Red Sea. Oh. 
<sighs> so yeah, it's um, I like it. There's uh, no rider modes. We've got heated grips though. Um, in fact, it's so simple. Such a simple, easy bike. The paintwork on it uh, looks like brushed aluminium, but it's paint. Um, I don't know whether I don't know whether I like that or not. I'm not a, an effect kind of guy. It either is or it isn't. And if it isn't, don't try and make it look like it. The seat, I like the brown. I'm at that age where brown becomes nice. Um, I've mentioned the mirrors. The mirrors are pretty good. I can see a lot out of them. Um, yeah, I am really, really am quite impressed. The front forks look a bit pants. I'm not quite sure. On the normal R90, they're the other way up. Um, so these have been flipped around uh, to go kind of like the normal way of doing front forks. Um, but then the paintwork on them is like a... <sighs> yeah, it's kind of like a hammerite black finish, which... Mm, I don't know. Um, what else can I tell you about this bike? Oh yeah, I've mentioned I love it. Um, no, I mean, if you were going to buy this bike, uh, it's about ten and a half grand. Um, and then I think the Akapovic is going to be extra, and then obviously the spoke wheels are going to be extra, because I normally come with these black mag wheels, but I really like the spokes. Um, yeah, for a Sunday afternoon, jolly up, don't want to lose your license, just have a bit of a ball, brilliant. Commuting, brilliant. I wouldn't want to do huge amounts of miles on it. Um, that being said, I have done um, a good 50 or 60 miles on it today, though. So, you know, uh, fuel economy-wise, well, I've already mentioned it's got about a 1,000 gears in it. Um, pull that stick out, my love. Um, it's already about a 1,000 gears. I'm riding along, I think, oh, no, there's another gear. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, there's another gear, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, like there can't be many more, and you've got another five. Um, but yeah, shaft drive, so you've got the reliability, hopefully. Um, you've got the reliability of the old shaft. Uh, no chain maintenance, um, which is great news. Um, I don't have a great deal of success with shaft drives, um, especially on my Tiger. But, in all honesty, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem on this. You're not going to be carrot going too up with people, I don't think. Loads of mud there. I'm nearly at Chandler's BMW. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do make sure you like, share, subscribe, give me the thumbs up and I'll catch you all very soon.